nope, 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 nope. And suddenly... I was a cat! Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today is a day that is long in the making. Uh, you guys have been hitting me up for years to play this game. It is a game that, for whatever reason, in all my research of the gaming landscape, I have stayed largely blind to. I've always seen it mentioned along the periphery. I've always been intrigued by the little snippets that I've heard about it. But I've never dug deep into it because I, I guess I kind of missed the boat on it. And by the time it, we missed the boat on everything. So what, what am I what am I kidding? But uh, today we are starting our journey. Thanks to your popular demands. The journey through what remains of Edith Finch. Now, like I said, it's a game I don't know anything about. I know it's story driven. I think there's puzzles in it. I, I got I got nothing. But I know... Since it released, what, in 2017, 2018, that you guys have been asking me to do it, cover it, do a game theory about it, something, over all of that time. And I, I don't know, for, for whatever reason, we never did because the timing never felt right, I guess. But, but here we are, we're on the couch, we're doing it now, so that's what's going to happen after I talk to Ash. Ash! Hey, Matt. So, Ash, I have a question for you. What's up? When it comes to video games that are on your, like, to-do list, unlike me or Matt, you know, <laughs> who doesn't play games, really, mm -hmm. you know, you as a figment of my figment of my imagination, what is on your to-do list of games to play? Do you have Ooh. a list of, like, that's a game that I should do at some point? Yes. I've been meaning to play Octopath Traveler for the longest time. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. Any particular reason? Why, like, are you necessarily drawn to RPGs? Or is there something about Octopath Travel tra Traveler in particular that's, like, that one? Yeah. So, I'm a big RPG person. Mm -hmm. I think the art style is really cool. Yep. Um, oh my gosh, you and everyone who sits behind the camera always about the art style. Oh, first it was Jason, gotta... then it was Matt. Chris didn't talk about art style too much, but then it was Matt. Now you're talking about oh, everyone always about the art style. Okay, yes, it's, those art it's styles. It's an important interest. part of it. Okay, you're. I mean, you're going to be. I'm planning on putting hours and hours and hours into this sure. thing, so it better look pretty. Okay, but I mean, I love story driven games. Yeah, I like that. Based on what I've seen, it reminds me a little bit of like. Fire Emblem, yeah, um, yeah. and there's just different routes that you can take. So I know I can get my hours in on that. Okay, getting your hours in on Octopath Traveler. Anything else on your to-do list of gaming? Of gaming? Yeah. Um, there's there's a game that has to do with someone named Portia that people keep telling me to play. Ah, uh, the game with Portia. Yeah, I I don't, I, I, I don't I don't let me see it. The name Portia is in there somewhere. <laughs> Great. Portia game. Sorry, everyone. I'm very no, my time at Portia. Really? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. I've gotten it recommended to me numerous times at this point. So I guess huh. that has to be on there. Okay. But Well, there you go. Yeah. Your to your bucket list of gaming. Mhm. Mm Cuz I mean that's that's for me too. Like I have an ongoing list in in my head of games that I should play at some point, right? So um for me, Final Fantasy 6 was on there for a long time, Ooh. which I went back and did uh shortly after college. Um and that was, I mean, you could see, I prefer 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, I prefer that kind of chunk after 6. But you see a lot of the, like, awesome, like, I, I, I see what people love about it. I love moments of it. But as a whole game, there were just, like, dissonant moments where I'm like, this doesn't make sense to me. Or, like, I don't really get this. Or this doesn't read the same way it probably did when it first came out. But it was cool to, like, add that to my library of, like, games to check off. Um... I've also really wanted to do a lot. Like I've popped in and out of of the God and War, the God of War games over the years. They were I a lot of like PlayStation stuff that was specifically PlayStation and Xbox because I was a Nintendo guy. I missed a lot of those like tent poles, and also because I didn't play a lot of violent games. Uh, you know, I missed a lot of like the the hardcore violent games, and so God of War series I've played like one and three, but I missed two. 
the the God of War like open world game I hear is amazing, but I've never played that. That's been on my to-do list for a while, but everyone says it's it's incredible. You got to do that one. A lot of open world games I don't have time for, so that's been a a, a big blind spot for me. <laughs> Thank you, Breath of the Wild. Very cool. Yeah, right. I mean, I I should go back and do Breath of the Wild since. Have you not? No, I. I did it in my way, which was I ran straight to the ending and then did it through, Okay. like, beat my head against a wall until I, like, figured out the mechanics and did it. Uh, and then I restarted <laughs> the game and then got side and then did what I always do in these sorts of games, which was get sidetracked off of side, like, immediately abandoned the, the main storyline to pursue just, I'm going to explore. And then I got burned out of all the temples because I'm like, oh, these are all the same. Yeah. And so then I didn't go back to the main storyline. So I, I kind of dropped it. It's it's one that I recognize that I've shortchanged mm-hmm. by by my aggressive non-following of the main storyline. <laughs> but I and I know that I need to go back and redo it at some point. Yeah, but that surprises me about you. What that I I mean, I know that you like to explore things for the lore, but yeah. like the storyline, that surprises me that I, you wouldn't go towards that. I, it's it's weird. I don't know what it is when I'm presented with an open world game, but I'm immediately presented with a Like, I am so by the book in so many things in my life. <laughs> but when you give me an open world game, I'm like, no, I want to see if I can beat it right away because I like the challenge. Or even in like <laughs> Elden Ring where it was, you know, they're like, follow the golden pathway. And I'm like, no, I want to explore this area. Like, this is cool. Like, I think, I and I don't know what it is, but it's always in video, like Skyrim. I started to play Skyrim, and as soon as, like, I was let out of kind of the main tutorial area, I'm like, I'm going to try to lockpick my way. This seems like a skill-based lockpick game, but it's a very hard lockpick, so let me see if I can do it. And then I did it, and then for the rest of the game, like, cops were, you know, the police of Skyrim were after me. And I kind of broke the game at that point, and I'm like, oh, this is less fun. So open world is, like, your opportunity to be a little bit spicy. It is. It's my opportunity to do crime. You can do crime. I can crime. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I, I feel a little spicy like Ash. Those are those are moments where Ash takes over my body. Yeah. And I do crime. Oh or my I gosh. beat Ganon. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm seeing like there's this kind of synergy here because now that you said it, yep. I'm also like, dang, I also need to play Final Fantasy VII. I haven't played a single Final Fantasy game. Have you not? No. Ooh. So what I would recommend is I like the early ones. The, like, one through five, I guess, or I forget, the numbering system's weird. <laughs> Rough around the edges. Six is, like, the pinnacle of, like, SNES Final Fantasy. Like, those early, like, they refine it. It feels good. It's not too grindy, all of that. Mm-hmm. Six is really solid. Seven is where they pivot. It, obviously, seven is just iconic. Like, yeah. you have to play a seven because that's the one. Yeah. Uh, eight's okay. Um, not my favorite. It's It's interesting from a lore perspective. Uh, and and it's it's this very clear graphical leap, but it's it's kind of slow. Um, nine's a lot of fun. Ten is the first ever Final Fantasy game I played. I think it's really good. Uh, mm-hmm. It's pretty iconic for the memes, um, and I love the, the characters memes. in it. Oh, so many memes come out of that. Huh? So many memes. Ha 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 ha! So there's this whole scene where they laugh, and that's how they laugh. It's, oh, good. Oh, it's amazing. It's good. great. So anyway, it's. It's delightful and cringy, and but the story's good. The gameplay moves fast. It's 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 the right level of visuals. I I like ten a lot. Um, and is then, then after is Sephiroth in ten? No, Sephiroth's only in seven. He's only in seven. They're, each one is its standalone thing. So really? you get to oh yeah, did you not know that? No. Yeah, it's like an anthology kind of well, where each one is its standalone thing, except for ten where they made ten two, which kind of spins off of ten. But yeah, pretty much all of them are like one off. Ten two. Yeah. Like Lion King one and a half? Yes. Huh. Yeah. Direct to, direct to VHS <laughs> sequel. <laughs> yeah. I just can't wait to be king again. Again. Uh-huh. There was that... Um, just can't wait yeah. to beat Sin again while playing Blitzball. <laughs> no one gets it because no one played Final Fantasy X-2. It's all right. Oh. Wait, is, right. That, is, that, is that really such a deep cut? Ten two? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, uh, here's the thing. At this point in the internet's history, probably, like, Ten Two came out in, like, PS2 era, so, like... Ooh. That's retro gaming as defined by like where we exist in the timeline. Think Ugh. about that. Yeah, the Wii. Ugh. The Wii is retro gaming. No. So anything before the Wii, like Wii U is starting to get to retro gaming almost, which no. is crazy to no, think no, about. No, 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 no. So for me to be like, oh yeah, I played Final Fantasy VI on the Super Nintendo. It's like, so anyway, I've got my bucket list of games. And on that bucket list, 
is what remains of Edith Finch. And we're going to check another thing off that bucket list today based on everything I've heard about the game, based on you guys recommending it. It has been on our GT Live bucket list for a long time. So let's bucket list this. Let's bucket check it list off. this. So what remains of Edith Finch? Looks like we're going to be exploring water towers and tree houses, which you know, maybe Ollie this is a is game I should play with. Pumped. I was going to say, this is an Ollie game right here. <laughs> we'll see if he likes it. Playtime. One minute. Well, let's change that. Synchronize. There's only nine achievements. I don't know. I need to achieve. Can I skip straight to the final boss? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's an Annapurna. That, that means it's schmancy. It's like A24 in the movie world. It's like a oh, we're a schmancy designer. Okay. Nice. Love, love me some good organ. Sailing away, my boys. Sailing away. Oh, hello. Edith Finch. Okay, so we're in Puget Sound. That's good to know. Is that I've got a cast? Look, look at this. We're figuring out the lore already. Broke my broke my hand. I'm carrying lilies, which seems that suggests that someone has died in my life. Turn the page. There we go. Isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, I want to. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Oh. Well, hello, Miss. My brother Park. Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Really? Milton Finch disappeared. Date missing October 23rd, 2003. 2003. Date of birth, 5-19-1992. Washington, aged, huh, 4-6. 7 pounds, huh. Uh, race mixed, Indian and white. Blue and black, huh, okay. Interesting. I cannot jump the fence. Okay, good enough. I can zoom in with the, with the shit. I have the superpower of zoom. What a wacky house. Would you would you want to live in a place like this? I was like that? 11, oh. but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Would you want to live in a house like that? I feel like I like for as cool as it is. I don't think I'd want to. Maybe for just like one lease cycle, just to <laughs> say you did it. Well, yeah, right. Yeah. But it's, you know, I'd be worried about weather blowing it over. Meh. You know? People live in the Outer Banks. <laughs> I guess so. It's really high up. Making me nervous. <laughs> nope. Check the mail. Check in the mail. Oop. So I don't have a cast. Inside I... the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Probably, probably should have attended to those sooner then. That would... Might, might have been helpful, certainly. Reminds me of the uh, Hello Neighbor house. It's all vertical and slanty. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. So, wait, brother Lewis's funeral? Is, is brother Lewis the one who was missing? No, that was Milton, I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, Milton. Okay, thank you. Man, so we're, we're losing brothers left and right. This is not good. Yeah. Okay, we're being surveilled. Which, again, makes sense if one of my do brothers potentially died prematurely and the other one got In swallowed room, up by the house. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Ooh, the finches. Ooh, left or right. I took the path left, less travel, though that has made all the difference. Let's go down. I feel like this is where the game wants me. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Here, I, I, I kept questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Ooh, it's a good mystery. We got a mystery game going on. Oh, that was the way forward. 
I thought like, oh, I can explore it down here. Oh, I can't. Maybe. Nice, beautiful flowers. Anything down here? Just calming. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Just hanging out, living our life. Hmm. Interesting. There's been a murder done at the mystery house. We're gonna find our kid. We're gonna find our brother. He's hanging out with the frog. The frog. Yeah, the frog. How do you know it's not a toad? Oh, that's a good. That's a good. It could be frog and toad. Two. Crazy. Yeah. You're a mad lad. The woods around the house have always <laughs> been comfortably okay. silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Shoot. I know this feels like I'm progressing the story forward, but I don't want to progress the story forward. I want to, I want to check out that other route. He wants to be spicy. I'm not being spicy. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything, you know? Yeah. You know, Ash? I get you. I want to complete it. Ah, uh, yes. You know, especially if this is like a mystery, there might be a clue down one of the, the routes. That's true. Sadly, my walking speed is that of a snail. But you can appreciate the sound design. I know it's 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 actually I mean it's visually it's it's beautiful. Visually this is beautiful. Sound wise I think it's gorgeous. Like I'm very excited to explore this world. But I'm also very excited to collect all the little lore hint details that exist. I should have known that they wanted me down that path. Go the normal way. Oh no, both of them are gonna let me go forward, aren't they? No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Got an achievement! Oh, All roads. roads! That means I explored both, I guess. Ooh, hello. Dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. There's the bridge, I think. So everything kind of unites over here. That's good. See, this is also why it takes me a long time to do games. Like, when I'm playing games, my, like, I try to, believe it or not, for as long as these Let's Plays are that we do on GT Live, I try to streamline it the way I would normally play. <laughs> for me, I'm just like, let me explore every nook and cranny. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Yep, this is it. This totally passed Architect's Code. Sure, the, the building authority was like, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. Absolutely stable. No worries, guys. It reminds me of Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah! Oh, I totally see that. Just like a little sadder and a little more death. Right. I see Howl's Moving Castle, absolutely. That's a great one. Like like something ripped out of like a Miyazaki. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or again, hello, neighbor. Which the game that shall not As be. As a child, mentioned. the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Fair. I'm, I'm afraid of it collapsing under the, the weight of its own poor structure. Gotta, gotta admit. Peek. Huh. Oh. It's an island. Okay, I'm like, is that a wave? felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay. Solid wind chime game. Okay. Can I open this? <gasps> I do. Oh. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Shoot, I, did, I, I wasn't prepared to do that. Oh no! I was just exploring the door. Oh no. Oh well, we've missed the something, Ash. turned off the night we left. Shoot, I'm just, I was just like, ooh, let me explore the crack in the doggy door. Okay. Anything interesting? 
interesting on the right here. No. For the first time in years. Twenty twenty. Okay. I felt like I was home. In a good way. Seems like you don't have a lot of love for this house. Home. Derogatory. Right? I was home. <laughs> Man, that has a lot of books. Prolific reader. Flour, salt, water, yeast. The Northwest. She have a lot of cooking books. Oh, look. A finch. A finch. Could it be symbolic? The Pacific Pantry? Oh, yeah. They're, they're hardcore chefing. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Mm. Edith. E.D. Lewis and Dawn. So no Milton in this one. Lewis dies. I'm named after my grandma. My mom's name is Dawn. Okay. Lewis. So our brother died when he was, what, 2... 22? Right? Did the math right? 90... Yeah, 22. Okay. When was... What? No, I'm looking at the dates and trying to remember... Um, when Milton disappeared. Because he was, why isn't he, was, he mentioned on there? Why he's not he, mentioned on he here? Is he after 2010? It is weird that there's no mention of him. Was it after 2010? Shoot. Let me, let me take the slow walk back. <laughs> yeah, you could look it up. Yeah, let's do I'm that. I'm curious. Because I agree. Like Firefox? Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> Relatable. I feel that. Was it a good Chinese restaurant at least? There's a, there's a big variety in Chinese places. Okay, there's a lot of, a lot of cans. Ooh, hello. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Okay, so Lewis at the cannery. Apple pie. Wow, wow, they really eat a lot of salmon. A lot of canned salmon. It's, it's good for their heart health, I believe. I think, I think that's that's good for their overall well-being. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay, so the question is, it seems like we left in a hurry. And Milton was gone long before, I think 2003. 2000. Oh yeah, we, I said that. Yeah, 2003, yeah. that's right. Yep. So it's it's odd that he's not mentioned at all in any of this. Oh. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Great grandma Edie. Hmm. So we don't know who. So my mom's dog. Oh, great grandma Edie. Grandma Edith. Oh. No. Great grandma Great grandma Edie. We don't know grandma. And then mom Dawn. Okay. We skip straight to straight to great grandmas. And some GGs. Some GGs. Isn't there a certain amount of time where if a person is missing and they aren't found after that Nothing period in the of time house they're dead? Looked abnormal. Abnormal. There was just too much of it. There's a lot. Like a smile with too many teeth. There's a lot going on Even in this house. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Ah. Ooh. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Up the chimney. That's great. Huh. But really, though, we, we could probably purge some of these books. There, there, is, there is such a thing as, like, a Kindle. <laughs> do you I'm I know it's bad for the earth and I'm sorry but holding hardcover book I don't know physical book I agree book smell book no I am a hardcore real book person yeah. the only reason I read uh ebooks is just because they're easier to take notes in and, and search my notes oh you're a, you're an annotator I have you to. read actively well I read because of I, the books I'm reading right now are things that end up as theories, and so I have oh. to yeah, I annotate and highlight and do all that stuff. <laughs> Ooh, three birds, one fallen. 
Symbolic. Guaranteed. I don't want to do that yet. Great Grandpa Sven builds a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Wow, Sven was busy. <laughs> music boxes, man, that's a lost art. Music boxes are awesome. Oh, yeah. I have a really tiny one. My first trip to Disney World uh, as a kid, I got a music box of It's a Small World. That was oh. my that was my big that was my big souvenir. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay, so we're back to kitchen, so here let's go this way. Wow, whoa, look at all those books. They were learned. Right? I don't know. If you have this many so books, are you actually knowledge. reading all those books? Okay, oh here. Here's Milton. <laughs> My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Finch! Lantern. So they rushed out of here. Ooh, they sealed this door. Mysterious. Edie told me once that every Finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Hmm, that's interesting. Using that, using that foam seal, man. Make sure that it's staying nice and airtight. Uh, upstairs? Do I go upstairs or down into the basement? Mm. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Okay. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> really? Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay. Sven. Sven and then Edie. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. This is cool. This is really cool. It is a little bit weird to have like the birth and death dates of everyone on the, on the walls though. I will say like, it's a little morbid. <laughs> hey, this room's sealed off because everyone in it is dead. But look, there's a fun bird painting. <laughs> Sven and Edie, may, law, forever may they live, but they're dead. But they're dead, but also they have hats. Right, but they do have hats. But they're cute birds with hats. That's yeah. okay. Okay, this is Gregory. Oh, Gregory. For, uh, was alive for a year? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. <laughs> Did they turn Gregory's bedroom into a bathroom? <laughs> right, I'm a little No, Gregory just loved the potty. But also pink. Right, pink, shag carpet, toilet. <laughs> if there's a room in this house that screams Gregory to me, <laughs> pink sh Also, can I just say, you don't want shag carpet in your bathroom. No. That's, carpet in general in a bathroom, not the greatest idea. It's a dangerous game. You, you high risk, certainly. <laughs> For what reward, too, on, like, like, look at, look at the, the decisions that were made here. You're getting out of the shower, and you're walking over a, a plush, shaggy carpet. That, that's inviting mold. I, here's, here's the thing. Guess what? If, if all the people in this house didn't die via tragic circumstances, they would have been dying from, like, black fungus growing in their walls from the black <laughs> lung. <laughs> that, it's like, if, if none of whatever this house has going on yeah. killed them, this rug would. Absolutely. Oh, 100%. Because here's my thing. If it were just like a little a little, a little strip yeah. of like a shag carpet, yeah. then that'd be fine. Totally fine. Because, you know, it's like, oh, wow, my feet are so comfy. This yes. is great. Mm -hmm. But when you get out of the shower or you just took like a bubble bath yeah. and it's all ugh. Mm -hmm. ugh oh, and, it, that, and that's never getting dry. It's It, it never dries. Staying moist. Too much. <laughs> all the moist. Too much texture. Bad. Yeah. Also, it looks like an amoeba. It's gonna like climb. It, it could even be alive. Climb up your legs. It's probably holy killer. Ah! I'm being pulled down by the rug. I'm being eaten alive by the amoeba rug. Yeah, this is bad news. Bad news, Gregory. I'm also, still still confused about why why that's Gregory's room. But sure. Oh, here we go. Calvin. So eleven. Man, we have a lot of premature death in this house. A lot of young kids. Or is this? This is them dying, right? It's not them leaving. 
Like, even if he was 11, he wouldn't have left the house. I mean, I don't think Gregory would have pieced out at one year old. seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. When you say sharing a room with his dead brother, are you, are you saying his spirit lived on? Are you saying there was a literal corpse? Like, sharing a dead room, room with his dead brother. Concerned about that. It sounds... <laughs> yeah, Gregory the one-year-old, peacing out. Some guys, you know what? I'm I'm done. Just give me my inheritance. I'm gone. I'm feeling purple. He was actually actually, he was actually the boss baby. <laughs> His boss baby was like, okay, guys, I'm boss baby. He's making moves. I, I don't like I don't like the fact that you put me in a pink bathroom. You give me that house, I'm out. Bye, boss baby. It's voiced by Alec Baldwin. <laughs> All the memes. Thank you. Oh, this is just. This is just a friendly, friendly face. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin. Barbara. Going to Hollywood. Ooh, Barbara. 1960, jeez. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. America grew out of Barbara? <laughs> America, until America, out of child stars? We're leaving Barbara in 1959. Right. <laughs> right. She, she was like Shirley Temple, I guess. And then America grew out of the child stardom, I guess. Okay. I can step up on those books. Oh, Ooh, hello. I don't want to open this. No! I don't know which way is forward in this game. I'm concerned about, oh, hey, there's Barbara. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Sure, look at that face. This is this is a YouTube thumbnail waiting to happen right here. <laughs> she got it. She's like clickbait. It's like some guy, you know, cutting a watermelon quickly and efficiently. <gasps> you know, you'll never believe this. I met Bigfoot. Story time. Right, right. <laughs> Asterisk story time. Not clickbait. You will not believe it. <laughs> These foods are so weird. I think the thumbnail for this video, we should we should put your hair up in yeah. like a little ponytail uh, on the top and have you doing that. Yeah, we can get you a little bow. It'll yeah, be so cute. What remains of Edith. I'm finally playing What Remains of Edith Finch. <gasps> not clickbait. Yeah, not clickbait. Okay, here's Molly. Wow, there's a lot of characters to keep track of. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. No. Oh you know, if she was alive. <laughs> if she hadn't bit the big one. You get what I'm saying? Oh my lord. Wow, what a cute door. That was only used for 10 years. Till her tragic death. Man, no wonder this house had to have so many, like, this, oh, that is horrific. This is, that is terrifying right there. That is not, that is not childlike and joyful. That is just a horrible monster. But no wonder this house needed so many layers to it. So many every time someone dies, their room gets permanently sealed. Well, well, we gotta build another addition to the house, I guess. I spent another... a lot of time Sorry, playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. What were you gonna say? I just I want to talk to the interior designer of this home. Yeah. Because whenever someone dies, they're like, all right, what's the color palette and what animal are we putting in here? Right. What are we theming this one around? Whale sharks. Whale sharks. All whale sharks. Blue. And trolleys. Very cohesive room here. There, whale, the whale shark trolley room. He told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. This is the key word. Yes. Yeah, key, okay. 20,000 leagues. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Ooh. Ooh! I was gonna say, that's a weird, why would you seal a book? Oh, cool. Up. Up. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Am I allowed this? This is going to move the story forward. I'm afraid. That... Shoot! I don't know which way to go. There's a basement. There's an attic. There, oh, there are about? multiple paths that you can take. And I think after you complete one, you can go back and do another. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll go forward with this one then. Yeah. Ooh, 
Willow. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. This, this is a cool hangout spot, man. I would be Reading all... this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Clearly, I don't have a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Huh. All right. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. All right. Yeah, Molly's room. Okay, so we snuck our way into Molly's room. Oh, this is cool. Big, big fan of owls and face masks. Great. That poor ant farm. Rest in peace. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. <laughs> mom, stop sealing doors. People like these rooms, man. Book. Okay. Activate book. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. Oh. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh, mom, I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, the, oh, this is so oh, sad. Honey. Oh, no. Oh, poor thing. Is that Also, is this what it takes to get Ollie to eat a carrot? Because he will not eat a carrot. But I also, I don't Please think I'm Please don't willing. put it no. in a gerbil cage. Uh, no, I was, I was not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. But also, <laughs> I, it would be nice if Ollie ate a carrot at some point. <laughs> My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, no. I do not feel okay with this. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay. Yikes. Orca. Bathroom here before you go to the bathroom. Can I eat the fish? Probably eat the fish. I thought about. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Oh my gosh, this poor child. Oh, this is horrific. Oh no. Else? Else? It's okay, bathroom, I guess. Wild, all right. Please, please let's find something to feed this child with. I kept eating and eating. Oh no. no. Oh no! No! That's. Oof. I don't know if that, that that's that that probably did more harm than good, honestly. Also, I, I didn't know like her arms looked like they had some sort of like sickly spots on them. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but it looked like there might have been like some sort of skin condition or something. This is also not things that we should be eating. I ate a lot of things that night. If they're just freckles or something. Those might, those might have been decorative. Those look like decorative berries. Just saying. Okay. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. This is not what I expected. I reached out for her. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. And suddenly, I was a cat. Hold up. Wait. Hold up. Wait. Biggest anime twists of all time. <laughs> right? I Nope, I didn't see that one coming. We are both gobsmacked. What? I think this is a good. This is a good. This is a good definition of the word gobsmacked because this is this is what I'm feeling. We feel like the Barbara poster right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally a gobsmacked cat? by Edith Finch. You're not gonna believe this. I turn into a cat. 
Story time. Story time. Hashtag you will cry. Uh, you will cry. You, I, I, every time. <laughs> but make sure you like if you cry every time. Yes. Uh, wow. Okay, so I'm a cat now, apparently. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I, you know, something I was really striving toward, towards. Is there anything interesting about the house? Okay, just, okay. Ooh, I'm so much faster now. Can okay, I leap? Okay. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, bird. Cat, but the bird was really scared. Oh, poor thing. Leap! Oh, I even have a little bell. Oh, presents. So it's Christmas. Look at me. Can I strafe? Can I be strafe cat? Strafe cat! Woo! Beep. It's really hungry, okay? Please, I'm a small I'm a small girl, please let me eat you. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh. Meow! 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 Oh, look, it's our daughter! As a cat! Outside. That's not noteworthy at all. I'm gonna get back to reading my book. <laughs> Ho hum, just another normal <laughs> evening of our daughter as a cat. Also, let's starve her to death in the room. I I just really like your your cat your cat sounds. Yep, yeah, meow. <laughs> meow meow. Don't mind me. Meow meow. Just leaping across various posts so I can hunt down this bird, meow meow. It's a very sophisticated feline. <laughs> I have class meow. <laughs> Leap meow! <laughs> Notice me. Meow. <laughs> I, I am valid, meow. <laughs> Play with me, cat. Play with I me, bird. I am valid, meow. Validate me. I, I almost got her. Almost got her. <laughs> I was that close, meow. <laughs> Leap, meow. Ooh. I Leap. think she's getting really tired. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this bird up, man. I'm gonna devour this bird like nobody's business. Meow. Meow. Meow! Meow, I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> my blood, aka my blood lust was at an all time high. I needed to feast upon its flesh. Meow. Meow! No! I gobbled her up. Oh! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Hoot! Hooty hoot! Hooty hoot! Meow hoot! <laughs> hoot meow! Hoot meow hoot! All the animals, all at once, okay. Oh, swoop! Get him! Get him! Get dunked on, rabbit! I imagine his face looking up and seeing oh. mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I, flew I don't know if owls can do that. Bigger. I flew to find something bigger than the giant rabbit that I just consumed in like two bites. How big is this owl? <laughs> Right, that like a, rabbit was huge. It's like a raptor. Oh my god! I consumed it. Oh, oh, mama! Oh, jeez, mama rabbit, eat that mama! She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Oh, oh! And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh, oh. In a tree? No! That was a bad transition. <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> See, this, this is why you don't become a shark. Oh! <laughs> oh! Then I was a shark! <laughs> then I died. <laughs> flip flop meow! <laughs> <laughs> flop flop meow. <laughs> Oot. <laughs> hoot! Hoot! Meow yeah, hoot! Wow! I... This is amazing. Lord! 
There is nothing anyone could have said to prepare me for what... No. I thought this was going to be some, like, sad, spooky game. <coughs> I mean, it might be. I mean, You're... it's sad. It is spooky. It's, but... it's, it's unsettling. But, but this... Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm allowed to flop, apparently. Oh. Apparently my action here is flop. Oh, he hopping. He be hopping. <laughs> oh, here, here he goes. He's like, please, please put me in the water. I'm slowly dying. Please, it's so dry out here. Can we talk for a minute? That owl just inhaled those rabbits. Ravenous. Inhaled them. Kirbyed those bunnies. <sighs> right? Yeah. Like, it unhinged its jaw like a snake. Like, yeah, I was an owl, but really I was a snake. Molly's fursonas are throwing me for a loop. Molly, Molly is a cold-blooded killer right now. Her bloodlust, man, just consumes. I will, I will eat the universe. I will eat the universe. And then I'm going to become a shark and fall out of a tree. Yeah, like I was going to say, you know, transitioning from owl to shark... Poor shark. I feel like I might I have wanted. Off a cliff and into the ocean. I feel like I probably. Now I was hungrier than ever. Let's say I feel like if I transitioned to a shark, it might have been better as an owl to have flown over water and then transitioned to a shark. See, that's why you got to plan these these big moves in your life. Okay. Ooh. No, I think you were destined to flop as a shark. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, bud, you're, you're sorry, sorry, man. Molly's. Molly must feast on your flesh. Uh, oh, this is. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Molly's. <laughs> Molly's a cold hearted killer, man. You ever dream about being an apex predator? As a child? As a, as a 10 year old child? You ever, you ever think about ripping your sharp canines through the flesh of a, another animal? Like, I can't say I've done that. Right, because gotta be honest, that is not a fantasy that I, I as a child have ever had. What animal did I imagine being? Any? I think I wanted to be a hamster. Great. I was a squirrel man myself. Oh. You were a squirrel guy? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. That done tight. Oh. So hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? Why am I? Am I a octopus? Snake? Octopus? Kraken? Am I a kraken? Cra a kraken, perhaps? Hello. Where am I? What am I, what am I doing? This is concerning. I'm like, I'm gonna like, I'm like a body snatcher now. I now feasted for human, I, I now hungered for human flesh. The most dangerous game. Okay. I don't like how it sounds so slippery. Would you prefer it be dry? I mean, there's ways to... There's nuance. <laughs> there are in-between values. I wish it was more dry, more arid. I have an ability there. Oh, okay, so if I click, I like to transition where I'm... Okay. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. I would make them suffer. Over and over again. That's cool. I like how it plays with the words. All they needed to do was give her a granola bar. Right? And that's it. Right? <laughs> that is literally all that had to happen to prevent this. This poor child just wanted, like, to swing by Dunkin' Donuts on her way home. <laughs> and her mom's like, no. And as a result, now she's... I was big. But I moved real quiet. I love that it's playing Christmas music. 
Great. Cool. That's one human down. Oh, there we go. Can I go up here? Can I go up here? No. Can I go here? Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Weird. Sometimes the controls are over. Oh, get up to that captain's quarters. Also, I did it. This game has gone in, in already in directions I, I would not have predicted. Got, gotta admit. This is a wild ride. Molly as cold blooded water kraken monster. What remains of Edith Finch? I don't know, but I know what remains of Molly. Giant liquid tentacle creature. Moist tentacle. Yeah. Passenger, I was still hungry. And to cross the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that cheesecake I so bad. I onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Okay. The sewers. Where are we going? We're going with this, Molly. <laughs> Isn't sure it great that kids have a, active imaginations? Yeah. I, I... Uh... Oh, we're popping out of someone's toilet right now. Oh, no. Oh, we're, we're doing the toilet pop. Don't... Make sure you check the bowl before you sit down. Just, just saying. And this is why you always gotta look before you plop. Just saying. It's very important. I got closer and closer. Okay. Are we gonna eat my? I'm in my own room. Okay. Oh my All God. my stomach started growling. Okay. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Not sure if I believe that she, you know, turned into a cat, meow, then a hootie owl, then a shark that rolled awkwardly. <laughs> like, human fall flat physics. Blop. <laughs> Blop. 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 Down everywhere. And so I that's death. So it's death. Oh. Yeah, we can all agree that, that the snake monster is death. Y yeah, I think so. Right, like it was symbolic of death, and yeah. that death took her. I, I mean, I don't like that he was hungry. I don't like that he had I, many tummies. I'm more concerned about the fact that she's like, I'm delicious. Hey, sometimes it's good to have high self-esteem. <laughs> Please consume me, death. I'm gonna be great. Wow, it was dark. It was shockingly dark. I. Can I turn into a cat if I open this window too? Meow. 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 No. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Mm. So when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. 
Oh, interesting. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Probably because every other room in the house had been like viciously sealed off from me being able to use it. So were you there, know. Were there candles in the bird? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Candles, yeah. Uh -huh. Zup Zerpy. Wow, we really have. <laughs> Just like every Zerpy, Lurpy, <laughs> Zerpy and Lurpy, Purply, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob the Snake, Burpy, Burpy the Bird, Bob the Snake, Unnamed Bird that doesn't run. Oh, no, no, okay. Der oh, Derpy, Derpy's the best. Derpy. Top tier bird, Derpy. Best wow. bird. Derpy best bird. Best boy. Best boy bird. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. <laughs> he's like, ah, he's gone. Give, give him his ring. Let, start it now. Throw it in the cage. Give me the tree slice. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need another tree slice for this one. He's on his way out. We, we know. We know he's on his way out. Let's just do it. Derpy, <laughs> show me the way. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush. Granny's got a lot of these to make. Oh my gosh. It's dark, man. Oh, here. Oh, wow. Lewis, Milton, Edith. Gus. Gregory. Dawn. Walter. Sam, Kelvin. Barbara, Molly. Okay, so that was Molly. 43. All right. Her room was like a museum. Joining the great majority. The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter by Odin Finch. Odin, 1888, okay. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. This is cool, I like these viewfinder things. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Oh, that uh, I, <laughs> set sail with his family and his house. Yeah, that is a giant house on a boat. <laughs> Just impressive. Howl's moving castle. D literally. Yeah. <laughs> literally. It do be moving. I mean, I've heard of houseboats before, but this is ridiculous. I'm so sorry. I hate myself. No, but foot Matt. off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Could it be that... It was a giant house on top of a very tiny, <laughs> big house, teeny boat. Wow. See, this is it's just a bad idea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter, Edie, is already dreaming of a new Finch house. I just keep seeing these reflections in the viewfinder. I was wondering if there was anything interesting, but it doesn't look like anything. Huh. All right. There you go. Wild. Nope. Oh. Your family unlocks. With this family, it goes back a long ways. Huh. Wild. Okay. Lewis, okay, so it was working on the napkin there. We got some pills. Oxygen. What was she taking? What was she taking? It's important. It is I mean it is helpful to know. Well, let's see, we've got bloody bloody tissues in the wastebasket. Mm -hmm. Which usually sim in, in any pop culture medium ever made means T B. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Start coughing up blood, that's always what it is. Or chronic nosebleeds. <laughs> or chronic. Bleeds. It's true. Yeah. It could be. You never know. The fact that there's an oxygen tank, though, also seems to indicate that it, it's, you know, probably coughing to death. 
Or she couldn't breathe because her tuber- nose was so bloody. Tuberculosis. Or, yeah, or bloody nose, yes. Murder. Murder. Murder probe. A couple turns land into a native haven. Huh, okay. A fish. Whale. What do we got here? Norwegian folk tales. Deepest sympathy. Deepest sympathy for the Even onslaught of just death. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Okay. B- babe. Baby. Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Wait, he was building a dragon-shaped slide? Dragon kills Finch? What? Tragedy strikes Finch family upon celebration. No way! He was building a giant dragon slide? That's awesome! And it fell on him? Oh, that is so sad. That's tragic right there. I also like taxidermy for the home. You taxidermy for dummies. Now you can too. You ever have a loved one that you want to stuff full of sawdust and preserve from now until eternity? Now you can too. Five easy steps. And if you call now. Well, we've been throwing the sawdust for a reduced price. 1937 by Sven Finch. Oh, there we go. Edie won't go. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Molly Concepts. Mural sketches. Barbara Concepts. Molly Concepts and Barbara Concepts. Weird. Concepts of what? Mole Man. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> but I, I know that we're all distracted with Mole Man. I'm pretty hype about winning a family day out at Druid World! Hype! The way we focused on completely different things. Because that looks like Bat Boy. Oh, it's absolutely Bat I mean, yeah, it definitely looks like Bat Boy. Love me, bat boy. Hold me, bat boy. It's so bad, but it's so good. It's, a, it's the musical. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Oh my god, it's I like. Winner. I like the one where they're in the living room, and the guy's like, "Ayo, let me smash," and she's like, "No," and then the bat's like, "Meh." <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the I song. Out of con- for anyone who doesn't know, Bat Boy. That's, <laughs> that's it. Ayo, let me <laughs> smash. And Bat Boy's in the corner. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I just love as an outside perspective on that. <laughs> hey yo, let me smash. Pass. Bat Boy's like pass. There it is. Oh man, but yeah, no, but seriously, Druid World, where it's at. Let's go, Druid World! Yes, sir. It's like, it's like a it's like a lame YouTube giveaway. Like, yo, if you smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below, I'm gonna give out three passes to Druid World. <laughs> Woo! No one subscribed. That was the day no one subscribed. Come on out, find your familiar. My friend Bigfoot, random junk. Edith interview. Weird American. Weird America. The Finches. Home movie. So we are kind of famous. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Junior for a long long time hmm. all right that looks pretty much everything in this room that's cool that's cool i love that what a cool idea for a painting like the wall you paint it on the wall and then the birds leave the paint. that's cool i love that idea it's brilliant Oh! No! Oh! Oh no. Squish, squish. Squish, squish. It's so moist. So moist. So much black fungus. Every See, look, they're having to clean it. They even had to clean it back then. <laughs> Baby bubble bonanza. Yeah, see, this is bad news right here. Bad news. What a terrible, what a terrible bathroom. I, I want to, this is the most horrific book. We've played a lot of scary games on this channel in the past. This is the scariest. But look at Frog. 
no frog can save me from the <laughs> look at this on the guy wine bottle this, in the trash can this, i love it here this is a mood this is my comfort this, room this is a mood i don't know i don't know about that <laughs> hello there's a secret in this bathroom what all right sure there is <laughs> there's a secret in this bathroom Okay. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. <laughs> oh, you sad boy. It's hidden in this book. A twist! That's awesome. What a cool way to hide secret Sam rooms in your old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Cool. It's like his hidden black room. Black light. Uh, is it a dark dark room? Dark room. Calvin Finch. Oh, wild. Okay. S strong sculpt. Kid safe. Thank goodness. Murder probe. Clues exhausted. Okay. Couple turns. Land into a native haven. Okay, those are the, those are the ones we've seen. Milton again. No, I'm not going to acknowledge Milton here either. So Milton's been in all these places. That's interesting. So Milton going missing might also be related to him having a similar experience that I am, like visiting everyone or space. What Calvin? Oh, nice. Look, it's got like mission control over it. Yeah. What a cool bedroom. It's got the command center over his bed. This is awesome. To the command center. 61. I want this bedroom. I'm an adult and I want this. I want this bedroom for Ollie and I want this bedroom for myself. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to crawl into the crawl space. Captured. The Secret Lives of War Photographs. Ports. Yeah. Lego here? No. No. I can go up the stairs though. Last fight. Oh no, okay. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh. Take it down. And then he never talked about him. I get it, okay. Samuel Finch. Okay, so Sam obtaining a hundred and twenty percent deportment grade. The third quarter of 67 is okay. 120% deport. What is that even? What is deportment grade like? I don't know what that would even. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Deportment could be like a memeified version of like Sears. <sighs> deportment store. Deportment store. <laughs> De like deported as in 120% deportment. Mm -hmm. I'll also let you know, we are currently at an hour and 11 minutes. So we get person's it. behavior. So deportment is a person's behavior or manners. There are team rules governing, okay, deportment, on and off the field. So he was well-mannered on and off the field, apparently. A well-behaved boy. Well, uh, best boy. Best boy. Not, a, not as best boy as, as shark. Or, or derpy. Or derpy, derpy best boy, best bird. Best bird boy. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finn. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay. So it seems like we're entering another fantasy land here about a dead child. Because, hey, welcome to the channel. Everything we do is about dead children. That's our brand. After years of me not playing this game, initial thoughts. Uh, Ash, I'm curious what you think. Hello? Hi.
Hi. Hi, hi, Ash. I I feel a lot of ways about this game. Yes. I didn't anticipate any of them, but I'm in it to win it. It's I'm intrigued. I like it's I know we're we're laughing and having, having fun and like making fun of moments and stuff, but yeah, it's it's not at all what I expected, first off. Yeah. I did not anticipate it being a story of like this family of premature death. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. I love the I love the amount of lore and story building that's being told through the environment right where yeah they're calling out certain pieces and parts but there's so much in between like names on the tapes you know the set design and so like there's so much other there's so much world again so much world building here it's really really interesting it's really really cool um and i'm and i'm immediately starting to get a sense of who these characters are and the tragedy that it's like molly is, is tragic so I'm really intrigued where this is going. So you can bet that we're going to be continuing this uh, and seeing how far it goes. Uh, if the story solves itself, if we need to solve the story, I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why people have been asking us for a theory for so long. Maybe this is still unsolved. Dun, dun, dun. We'll find out next time. Probably not. We'll probably find out in like two uploads from now. But anyway, guys, thank you for recommending this. I thank you for your patience in, in us playing it. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. But as always, remember... It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!